Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the practice of polygamy, which Joseph Smith taught is a requirement for entry into the celestial kingdom. You may already be aware that Joseph Smith, the founder of our faith, was sealed to multiple women in the afterlife. This practice, known as celestial marriage, has been a part of the faith since its founding. Quote, For behold, I reveal unto you a new and an everlasting covenant. And if ye abide not that covenant, then are ye damned. For no one can reject this covenant and be permitted to enter into my glory. End quote. D and C, 132, verse 4. Continue. Go ye, therefore, and do the works of Abraham. Enter ye into my law, and ye shall be saved. But if ye enter not into my law, ye cannot receive the promise of my father, which he made unto Abraham. God commanded Abraham, and Sarah gave Hagar to Abraham to wife. And why did she do it? Because this was the law, and from Hagar sprang many people. This, therefore, was fulfilling, among other things, the promises. End quote. Verse 32 through 34. I want to make something clear. I am a celestial polygamist. I am sealed to multiple women in the afterlife, and I must endure the burden of having multiple wives in the eternities. I must perform my husbandly role to both of them, having endless celestial relations. I plan to alternate odd days for one wife and even days for the other. This is a heavy burden to bear, but I am willing to accept it because I believe it is what Joseph Smith taught and what is required to enter the celestial kingdom. I know that some of you may find this practice strange and unappealing, but it is an essential part of our faith, and I am willing to accept it. I am willing to bear the burden of polygamy because I know that it is what Joseph Smith taught and because it is required to be part of the celestial kingdom. I am fully aware of the weight of this commitment and of the challenges it will bring in the afterlife. But I am willing to accept it, and I encourage all of you to do the same. Thank you, brothers and sisters. May God bless you all. Amen.